I'm、uh, Javier Silva, the academic director for the ecology and conservation program in Ecuador. My background is in biology. I am a biologist. I have been working in conservation most of my life. Science results need to be applied to human. Development in the sense of better understanding of our planet and how to manage to get a more sustainable life. The students really see firsthand what is the social and environmental situation of the different regions of Ecuador, like High Andes, Amazon region. Cloud forests, Galapagos Islands. In terms of global change, we do study biological and ecological indicators that provide you a little bit more information about what you can do with all these environmental impacts. I may say also the local people. They are the first ones to deal with the problems of、uh, climate change. Their natural resources are changing; most of the cases diminishing. For them, it's very important to understand these not only local but global phenomena. Fortunately, in our program, we have a very good、uh, network of、uh, scientists, conservationists, environmentalists. That、uh, provide us an excellent support, not only for lectures, but especially for doing things the practical way of learning. The independent study projects have been very interesting. Some students choose more biological, ecological aspects, and others a little bit more in the side of conservation and social justice. Some students have been studying different ecosystems. We have had students working in environmental impacts, such as petroleum impacts in water and soil. We have had students working in environmental impacts that come from excessive agricultural uses or monocultures. We have had very interesting and amazing results of them discovering new species. We have had the case of students discovering new species of frogs, new species of insects, and this is great for them. This is great for science because they are helping. The science community in Ecuador, in order to know better their ecological systems, in order to do better conservation. Reciprocity is one of our main goals, in order to help local scientists and to help local communities and to local peoples how to be more engaged. In the conservation of their local lands, their local resources, and also local decision makers, that is also one of our targets in terms of do better political decisions, and also the national park systems that are managed by the government have been using and putting in practice direct results that our students have provided. Students that come from environmental sciences background, it can be biology, ecology. So this is the kind of student community that we are asking for in order to have a very good science level in the program for dealing with all these different、uh, biological, ecological aspects, and also students that come from different backgrounds that are welcome to. Come to the world of science in order to put science into practice for social justice. The students need to come with a certain level of Spanish. We are not asking for bilingual students, but students that understand and have a good level for conversation, especially in science aspects. Since day one, I would say. They have to speak Spanish with the local people. Quite soon, they go to a local family. They need to be interacting in, in Spanish, maybe not so fluently at the beginning, but by the end of the program, is amazing the improvement they have in their Spanish. 
the experiential learning enables the individual to be a lot more competitive, especially if you are working in biological, ecological sciences. This knowledge of how to work in the field is really essential. So we have a lot of alumni that come back to Ecuador in order to continue their research that they have started during their independent projects. And this is very interesting because fortunately our program is very well regarded by institutions like Fulbright, the National Science Foundation, other national and international partners that have our students in very good regard. Also, we have students that are now working basically all over the world doing environmental work that are applying what they have learned in the program. They are applying this right now in different countries of the world and we are very proud. Our focus, our lens is first uh, science, how to understand our ecological, biological world, and then how to use this, this science information in order to give back to the society, to the local people, for them to have a, a better life in terms of getting natural resources. And with this science component, we need to think about how we connect that to people and how we connect to social movements, social justice and conservation pathways. <laughs>